Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. This video is a product review video. This is a cylinder head. This is the Profiler Sniper X. And if you've ever wondered how much flow does it really take to make a thousand horsepower, what does a thousand horsepower head really flow? This would be one. So this one is a Profiler Sniper X. They've come in three different sizes. I've never done the XL. That's super huge one. And this is actually the first one from Darren, uh, well, from profiler that I've actually flowed. I flowed one that someone else had CNC ported, so they took this casting and put their own port in it, and it didn't do very well. This one was actually much better, but this is the Sniper X. It was designed by Darren Morgan, who's a famous head porter, and this thing is available from PBM. I sell them as well, but it's a really nice head, and I know for sure several people made over a thousand horsepower with this head. So even as I show you the flow numbers, you'll be like, wow, yeah, this is easily a thousand horsepower uh, capable head. So anyway, let's get to it a little bit. This video shouldn't be too long. This is a 2350 intake valve and a 1850 exhaust valve. They both have a 50 degree seat and it's full CNC ported. It's still in that standard valve spacing. Um, I think they these do require shaft rockers. I'm almost positive on that point. But it's not that the push rod slots have been moved over all that far anyway, if at all. Um, it's more of a standard conventional type head. So the XL I know has moved over quite a bit and it's got a much larger intake valve. They actually have a smaller one too, a 355, which have also never flowed. Now, this one, I, the customer sent it to me just to assemble. So this is exactly from factory. So it's got this ledge here for the, where the valve job comes in. And I can tell you, I promise you when Darren designed that, that it didn't have that much of a ledge. It's not huge, but it's, it's, it is there. So it's not as bad as it looks on camera, I should say. But there is a, a little ledge there and that might hurt uh, flow a little bit on the low lift side, not too much on the big. And then it's got one on the exhaust, but that one actually didn't seem like it infected at all because it shouldn't, it goes this way. Anyway. It's really nice. You can see from the port shape, it's great. In case you're wondering, what is that hole you see there? Uh, yeah, on big block Chevys, on the long port right there, that's where the head bolt goes through. And I often leave that hole there and you're like, how can you don't sleeve it? Well, cause it doesn't go in anything. So as long as you put silicone at the top, you're fine. So on big blocks, typically we break through on that one, on the long port, not on the short port. So let me show you the short port. For those who don't know, long port, short port, different entries. Man, thing's beautiful. He does great work. And it's not going to go through the bolt hole. The bolt hole's way over here. Uh, but yeah, nice work. Thing looks really, really good. But anyway, head on the flow bench. This is my Signs Digital 680 bench, 4625 bore. I've got my radius plate on here. And I've actually got a non projected tip spark plug in there because imagine that's where you're going to run. And here's what it flowed. So. This is the long runner, and that's a short runner. Typically, the long runner flows more. So if you look at 400, 277, 277, both of them flow the same at 400 lift. At 600, we have 391 and 367. Really good number at 600, really 392. And peak, it does 433 and 429. Really, really good. And then the exhaust, though, that's outstanding. Flat out outstanding. Peak at 334, 237 at 4. It's really nice because that exhaust valve is only a two or 1850. So it's actually 30,000 smaller than what uh, most people run for exhaust valve anyway. And I say, why did he do that? I believe he did that so that you'd have more, you'd have more options for your cam timing. Because unlike a, say a small block Chevy or LS, these valves are actually canted, which moves at, moves at an angle towards the center. Same with the exhaust. So essentially they're gonna move towards them, so, towards each other. If you make that exhaust valve smaller, you actually have more room before they make contact. Um, not that I've ever had an issue, and I've done some pretty crazy stuff with 1880, but maybe he's just thinking about people more in the future and how aggressive they would actually get with it. But anyway, uh, there's the head. A uh, little bit short video, but really, really good head. So in case you wonder what Sniper X ever actually does, um, 377 cc's, it does this, and it makes over a 1,000 horsepower easier some amazing heads. So designed by a very, very smart man. Anyway, you guys take care.